All right, here's my airbag. I'm just held, holding it on by one bolt, it's plugged back in. It's just floating right there. And uh, I'm just gonna see what happens when I try to run my window. Well, you can actually see it move right there and then it crunches. So the regulator is trying to move. Sounds absolutely horrible. So this is again most likely a bound cable inside the motor from a bad regulator. Um, what's nice is you can actually take, I can take these torxes out here and my motor will twist and I can remove my motor and take a look at my cabling behind here which I'm pretty sure is going to be damaged. I removed the three T30 screws from the window motor and now I just twist down and I can remove this this is uh, gear driven this is my connector it's just power and ground and changes polarity depending on whether it's going up or down it just has a push tab on the back of the connector to release it right here so I know that my motor is good, so my problem is most likely in my window regulator itself will need replacement. Now with that motor out, I should be able to lower my glass by hand. If I just put one hand on one side and one on the other, I can actually push this glass panel right down. And this is also how you would remove the window regulator because you need to get to these access screws here. And actually, you can see right there, there's a hole. There should be a holder on that uh, window regulator and there's nothing there. So, there's the support for the glass. And let's see, on the other side. Yep. There's the bolt right there, and the support is on that side. So my problem is, push that back in the seal, is down here. Yep, there's that piece. It's floating down here on the bottom of my, yep, right there. There's the cable. It's all, it's all frayed down there. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Hey, what's this? There's the screw that holds it. Jammed in the door. Looks like that's been off for a while. I need that. And there's that the backing nut right there too. That's important. Grab that. Well, the next step is to get this window regulator out so we can get a good look at uh, the actual damage. But these two components here are very important. They should have been holding the left side uh, slider guide for my glass. And you line it up to this bottom hole, which is just below uh, the airbag. And that's how you could, would remove the glass. You'd have to take this bolt out right here and make sure not to lose this um, captured nut. And the same thing on this side, I'm going to have to lower it. See I have a spot right here. I can also lower it further and access it through here. And I can just by using my hand, I can slide my glass down in my guide and you can see right there it puts me into the spot where I can access um, that uh, eight millimeter bolt, which also should have a capture nut on the back. So I can put my finger in the back and hold that capture nut in place, which should stay in the glass. This also should be a tab 
um, that is attached to the glass, which is not on the other side. So my next step would have been to take these two uh, eight millimeter capture nuts off. So I have one here close to the motor, just below the motor, and then I would have had one here, which is... Now I, I removed that eight millimeter, and that's my capture nut on the back side. And while I was in there, I also found this is the piece that attaches to the glass. It sits like this, I believe. Let's see. And uh, this is where the capture nut sits on the other side. And obviously this one's destroyed. This does not come with a window regulator. And you do need these on the glass when installing a new window regulator. So I'm going to have to pick one of these up before I do my installation. But with this out, I can actually take my glass out. Or, in most cases, what I would do on an E46 is the glass doesn't have to come all the way out. All you really need to do is take the glass, put pressure into the back seal, and just slide it up. Keep pressure towards the back and push it up into the seal like it's closing. So right now my window is closed. I'm going to get a piece of green tape and I'm going to tape from the back side over the top to this side and that's going to ensure that my glass stays in place. I wouldn't recommend using duct tape because that leaves a residue but if you use green painters tape it won't re leave a residue.